Former This Morning presenter Holly Willoughby has broken her silence on her TV comeback just days before she is set to return to our screens on the hotly anticipated skating show, Dancing on Ice. More on that later. Meanwhile, it's all gone wrong for Alison Hammond as she threw This Morning into chaos when her phone went off live on air. Perhaps she was awaiting an important call about a better job. Who knows, but Dermot O'Leary was shocked to discover Alison had left her blower on set, and just moments later he heard it ping. Looking annoyed Dermot said, oh my god, have you not turned it off? Panicked Alison insisted, I did turn it off, it wasn't me, oh, it was. As she rushed to switch it off, she continued, I am so sorry, that is so unprofessional. I had it on aeroplane mode. It's not the first time Alison's phone has gone off during the live show. Last September she stopped the show to tell her postman where to drop her package. She told viewers, I'm so sorry, I've just got to let. It's really rude of me, it's the postman. Can I just open the gate? The postman is at the gate and I need to let him in. Alison Hammond's on-screen antics come amid reports she turned down a huge pay rise to replace Holly Willoughby following her shock exit from the daytime show following an alleged plot to kidnap her. The Great British Bake Off star Alison has become a firm favorite with this morning fans. However an insider said that she is so busy with other TV work that she has politely declined to take on a full-time role. A source said, Alison has long been a favorite with bosses. She's very popular with viewers and celebrities often request her when they appear on the sofa. She's happy to fill in but has politely declined the job more than once. But, as the This Morning juggernaut rumbles on, Holly Willoughby is preparing for probably one of the most important TV appearances of her entire career. Yes, it really is make or break time for the former daytime TV presenter who is busy trying on overpriced dresses as she steals herself to make her on-screen return after a two-month hiatus on Sunday to host Dancing on Ice, alongside Philip Schofield's replacement Stephen Mulhern. Far too busy, it seems, to attend a press day for the upcoming series which took place on January 10th. Now though, at the 11th hour, Holly Willoughby has taken to social media to share a brand new post as she gears up for her first show back. She shared a photograph of the Dancing on Ice launch show script as she confirmed she was back at work on the show and shared her excitement for the 2024 series. Alongside the photograph, seemingly taken in her home, Holly penned, and so it begins, alongside an emoji of an ice skate and a smiling face. Well, that's rather appropriate since we'll have to endure seeing her Cheshire Cat grin for the next several weeks. The social media post swiftly followed reports that Holly Willoughby is in the running to host a new jungle-based show with Bear Grylls for Netflix, though Holly did not confirm nor deny the rumors. Apparently, she has been approached about fronting the series which will see celebrity contestants pitted against survival expert Bear. A source said, a group of celebrities will be put into a jungle where they will have to tackle a series of challenges. If they lose, they'll have to pit their wits against Bear, who will be hunting them down. It's a really exciting concept and Bear is totally on board. Now they have Holly in their sights to host it. The insider added that Holly is open to offers but will be carefully cherry-picking her next projects. Holly is no stranger to a jungle environment, having previously filled in for Ant McPartlin on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here in 2018 alongside Declan Donnelly, but is another outdoor adventure program really the best way for Holly to move forward? It was only recently that the show she co-hosted with Wim Hof, Freeze the Fear, produced by Holly's husband Dan Baldwin, was cancelled. But for now, as her future career hangs in the balance, she is firmly focusing on her big night this Sunday. However, rumors are abound that her dancing on ice return, risks taking focus from the celebrities and even an ex-champ has issued a plea to fans. Holly, who is returning to host the ITV skating competition without Philip Schofield for the first time risks diverting focus from this year's cast skating performances. Former Dancing on Ice champion Alex Murphy, who won in 2020 with Joe Swash, recently has spoken out about the new series and shared her own experiences working with Holly Willoughby ahead of her highly anticipated return. When Alex, who was shockingly dropped from the show shortly after her win for reasons unknown, was asked if she felt Holly made the right call to return to the ITV Sunday night staple, Murphy replied, I think that's really tough. If I'm honest. My experience with Holly and Phil was nothing but wonderful. We saw them on a Saturday and a Sunday. They were always kind to me, always good to me, always checked in with me. Holly's children are adorable. They are just lovely people. I do think she's been through a really, 
really tough year and that's got to be really hard. Murphy admitted. She continued. Now she's almost ripping the band-aid off where she's saying. I'm going back. This is my spot. I deserve this spot. We can't take away the fact that she's a brilliant presenter. We should recognize that for her. And just allow her to do her job. I do anticipate she's probably going to get people saying whatever they want to say. But Stephen Mulhan is amazing. So maybe they could be a lovely duo. I'd love to see that. However, Holly Willoughby's comeback won't be plain sailing as Murphy conceded. I do think that the really hard part about the show though, is, because the focus is actually on Holly and, Stephen, as opposed to the focus being on the show itself. She paused. Adding, so I hope that it doesn't distract too much from the show and I hope that she can just get on with it and live her life and keep the spot that she deserves to keep. It's hard. I'm sure that was probably a really long deliberation for her. Do I go back by myself? Are we going to get me a co-host? What are we going to do? What's our plans? Urging fans to back Willoughby as she returns without Schofield for the first time. Murphy went on. But in a way. I just feel like, is she supposed to give up everything now? We need to let her do what she wants to do and hopefully support her and let her move forward. She's given up a lot and I don't really know how much more she's supposed to give up. Dancing on Ice has been her baby for how many years? If I'm right. I think she was pregnant at one point on Dancing on Ice so it's literally older than her children. It's been her baby before her babies. Murphy concluded. Interesting. Holly Willoughby quit this morning after 14 years to apparently focus on her children. Yet, just three months later, she's stepping out from her fairy tale castle-like mansion donning a princess-style gown to host Dancing on Ice. Perhaps, Little Miss Perfect, Holly Willoughby, sees the skating show as one of her babies. But, as she arrives at the ball on Sunday night, will she lose a glass slipper before the clock strikes 12 and gain back her TV career? Or, will it be reduced to a pile of cinders? As always, only time will tell. Please like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only. Keep up to date with the latest UK news and TV entertainment and hit the join button. If you enjoy what we do and would like to support us, send us a super thanks. Official blinker hole merchandise is available in store.